Rob from Room 111. So what I want to do on, in this particular segment is I've always wanted to test lighting ratios as far as uh, the orientation of the dish to the subject. So I'm starting out here. All the shots are going to be at uh, 7 feet. So the dish currently is, this is the white beauty dish. I did all my shots with the white. It's at 7 feet. So here's how I started. I started like here at 0 degrees. I moved to 22, then 45, 66, and then uh, a full split light at 90 degrees. Okay, so that's five shots, and I took meter, light meter readings on each side of the face for each shot. So I wanted to see just how, how far the, the light fell off, and plus it's not only really fall off, it's blockage, right? Her face is blocking the the other side of the light so there's a it's not really fall off it's just straight up blocking the light but anyways what I, all I'm trying to get at is I wanted to measure the distance the contrast the lighting ratios of one side of the face to the other and I'll walk you through those images now thank you okay so let's look at the images here but first uh, I'll walk you through this setup again and we I talked about it in the video just very briefly the the height of the beauty dish in all five of these shots is seven feet and the height of the mannequin is about uh, five nine so the center of the dish is one foot and three inch higher than the mannequin and here we have the five shots again zero degrees 22 and a half approximately okay again it's not scientific but it's approximate 45 degrees about 67 and a half and then 90 uh, the distance from the mannequin to the beauty dish is two feet on the axis it's exactly I measured that with the tape measure uh, 24 inches and also the height was measured with the tape measure uh, the height at uh, seven feet and the distance from the mannequin to the camera is six feet okay so let's get into the images here Okay, this is the first one, zero degrees. The beauty dish is directly frontal, and this is the resulting image. Okay, so at first, I'll go through all these images twice. The first, we'll talk just about light ratios and stops, and then the second, we'll talk about, uh, the second time through, we'll talk about aesthetics and just the quality of light and how it looks on the mannequin, okay? So we'll, we'll cover each one twice for different reasons. So here we have, uh, obviously, directly frontal light. The light on this jawline is going to be identical to this jawline, so there's zero EV, okay, and this results in a true one-to-one -one, uh, ratio, okay. One-to-one -one means the light on this side of the face is exactly as it is on this side of the face. Okay, so here we're at 22 degrees now, camera right, and the difference is one third of a stop. So that's and 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 this means that uh, for every one unit of light over here, there's 1.3 times as much light on this side of the face. Okay, so we're at one third of a stop. At 45 degrees, now we're at 45. Uh, there's two thirds of a stop difference between this jawline and this jawline right here in this area in shadow two-thirds of a stop so that equals a 1.7 a light ratio so for every unit of light here there's 1.7 units of light over on this side of the face next is about 67 degrees over here and it's a full two stops so you notice the let me go back one here Right, so the first one was a third of a stop, then two thirds of a stop, and bam, we really get extreme blockage over here once we hit 67, degree, uh, 67 degrees because now we jump to a full two stops difference. Okay, the difference from here to here is two stops, which is a four to one lighting ratio. Okay, so that's pretty extreme for every unit of light over here, there are four units of light striking over here. And then lastly, we're at a full 90 degrees, which is a split light. Okay, so you can they call it a split light because the light is quite literally almost splitting the face because the nose acts as the, the crest, right, the apex. So bam, there's your split light. <coughs> and here I measured it's a full three and two-thirds of a stop which is huge right but it's kind of you can still there's still definition here it's not so dark that it went completely black but it's three and two-thirds stops which results in about a 7.3 to 1 lighting ratio again for that means for every unit of light that's striking over here there are 7.3 units of light over here okay and those are your lighting ratios 
So let's go back now and, and start. Now we did the scientific stuff, right? We did the stops and the lighting ratios. That's all science. Now let's do art. And what I mean by that is let's look at the just look at the photos irrespective of of uh, the science and just see how pleasing or displeasing they are. Okay, so here's the first one again. We're at uh, full frontal light. And it's a little bit, I mean, it's okay, actually. It's uh, it's a little bit harsh to me, right? Because it's uh, it's full, f it's just full. Uh, face on and it's not very interesting you can see the illumination across her pink uh, jogging jacket is f it's just flat it's just super super flat there are no deviations in light okay it's a flat light same with her chest and her neck it's just everything is you can just tell by looking at it, it's one to one and it's extremely flat the only way it gets interesting is I like the blonde hair the way the light is striking the hair it's really bringing the hair to life and you get a little bit of shadow here there's a little bit of shadow here and there's some shadow on the on the chin but that's the only thing interesting about this photo so overall this image I think it's a fail it's just the, the light is too flat okay let's go to 22 degrees now this is already much more interesting because the light is it's over here it's no longer fully frontal so you get a little bit of shadow now see there's a little bit of you can see the third dimension coming in this photograph right the Z dimension there's you know X and Y and then the Z dimension is depth or space and now that's why taking the light off full frontal reveals that Z dimension or space or depth because you're starting to get shadow okay so we have shadow here shadow on the jawline shadow on the neck and you can even tell here that even the lighting is no longer so flat on this jacket let me go back one look how flat the lighting is on the jacket go back to 22 degrees and already you can tell this is a little bit darker than this over here so it's it's not a flat lighting anymore much more interesting okay now we're at 45 to 45 degrees and I really like this this image is really really working for me so you have some areas falling in the shadow the same area even here now the hair is falling more into shadow so you have contrast right you have different lighting ratios in the hair which is uh, really pleasing aesthetically that's very pleasing you have some again some uh, distribution of light across the jacket right it's not all flat it's it's different it's much brighter here than it is over here the neck you can tell the neck there's some fall off now there's no blockage right there's nothing blocking this light but you can tell here that the light here is more powerful than the light over here so even this little bit of distance you can tell there's discernible fall off just very slight ever so slight but you can see there's fall off and uh, like even here see how specular the light is very specular and over here it's a little it's more subdued so there's no blockage here this is now this is true fall off okay and that's what makes the 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 image interesting now this over here is obviously blockage her nose is just blocking the light as in the same here with her cheek it's just being blocked but aesthetically i think this really works cuz look here you have this beautiful uh, rim here from the from the beauty dish and this is just a one light setup this all there is is there's no reflectors you can tell there's nothing hitting the backdrop this is just the beauty dish firing and nothing else okay I really like this image I think this is beautiful I really like it. and I'm not trying to flatter myself I'm, I'm just saying the, the the light quality of uh, the light on the subject is is a beautiful light okay here I like this I, I really kinda like this look but the face is falling into just a little bit too much darkness for me and same with the hair okay the hair is really starting to go a little bit too dark here okay the jacket is starting to get too dark over in this area now if I would put the 5 and one reflector up here I'd have thrown a lot more light into this image and it would it'd be much more pleasing even though the light is here at 67 and, and a half if I would have put a 5 and one reflector just like this actually angled a little bit more as a matter of fact let me insert a line here uh, just just to show you like right here I'll put my reflector on an angle about like that if I put the reflector on an angle just like that and then boom the light is hitting the uh, reflector at an angle and then throwing it back into this pocket right so imagine this is a pocket it would throw it right back into this pocket here and illuminate this nice it would illuminate her shoulder and her hair and this pocket okay and it obviously it wouldn't be two stops anymore because that reflector would have filled in that light but overall what I'm getting at is it's uh, 
I like this. I like it on the on the face, but once you get into the jacket and the shoulder and right about in here somewhere, it starts to it starts to fizzle out because we're losing too much light. And then lastly, we're at 90 degrees, and I like it. The image is working. Overall, this image is really really working. Uh, but again, it's just falling into too much darkness here. There's too much definition lost in the hair. This little sweet spot here looks nice. I like this. It's like that corn silk look, you know, just like when you buy corn in the supermarket and it's got that uh, that corn. That's really, really beautiful. Okay, I like this fall off on the on the clavicle. And you can tell, remember, the, the first image, the clavicle was hardly even... Let me go back just to show you in the first image. Okay, look at the clavicle. There's almost no definition here to the collarbone. Then we go back to the last image. And look how that's really... The shadow, you have shadow bringing this. And the, the shadow is what offers definition. It brings this collarbone right to life. Look at the, the contouring of her face. Every... The, the contour of her cheek is visible. The contour of the lips. Contour of the nose. All this contour, even the jacket, it's really coming out, whereas when the light was fully frontal at zero degrees, that's why we call it a flat light, or why it's called a flat light, is there's you, there's no discernible uh, contour, because the light is so flat and striking so frontally that there's no contour visible in the image. But here, coming from 90, right here, look at all this contour. It's just wow it's just incredible the, the contour that's visible in this image so again it works so let's recap out of the five images four of the images work and I'll start from scratch again start from the beginning. this image does not work it's just way 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 too flat okay it's this is a fail let's just say pass fail okay this one is a fail this one is a pass marginally it's still, I, the light is a little too harsh. It's a pass, but marginally pass. This is definitely a pass, pass, pass. So out of the five images, I would only consider one a fail, and it's this one here. The full frontal light is a fail. Now, again, you're free to disagree with me. This is very subjective. We're all artists here, okay? That's what we are as photographers. The, our, our, the camera is the medium, right? Instead of pencils or charcoal, or oil-based paints our art is our, our medium is our camera and you are completely free to disagree with me on these uh, on this recap okay because we need to extend each other the latitude necessary as artists for healthy disagreement okay so if you disagree I'm totally cool with that different strokes for different folks I just hope you found this useful in the way that we covered it in in two different perspectives we covered it kind of like a scientific treatment with uh, stops and light ratios and then secondly we did it uh, aesthetically whether the image worked or not okay thank you for your time I appreciate you looking in see you in the next video